Last week, we introduced you to a man named Joe, who was filled with regret for not sharing his faith with a co-worker named Alex, who died unexpectedly. We also showed you how sharing the gospel with others is a crucial component in every Christian's walk, and if they would do it more often, it would help them come to a full understanding of all the good things they have in Christ Jesus. Remember Proverbs 29, 25? The fear of man brings a snare, but he who trusts in the Lord will be safe. You see, Satan doesn't want us to share the message that has the power to save souls of men. And that's why you feel fear when you're faced with sharing your faith. Satan has lured us into a trap of fear and futility by getting us to focus on the fear of men and not the fear of God. If you're not sharing his word and you're not doing what Christ commanded you to do in order to expand his kingdom, then what is your motive for praying, studying, or gathering together with other believers? Is it for your sake or for his? The next and most obvious question that you need to ask yourself is this. If God wants me to share the gospel, then why does he allow Satan to attack me with fear, lies, distraction, and deception? It's the fear that'll cause you to pray more, read the word more, and learn what it's like to be led by the Lord and preach by the power of his spirit. So the truth of it is, you really have nothing to fear but fear itself. You don't need to be afraid of the world or what other people will say or even of Satan himself. He's a liar and the world is weak. Even Satan has to yield to the power and the authority of Jesus, which has been given to you for the purpose of preaching his word to a cold, dark, and dying world. As I interviewed various Christians just like you about the fears that they said they felt, I began to notice a pattern of lies start to emerge that Satan had sold them in order to intimidate and to inhibit them from sharing the gospel. Right now, let's start to dissect five of the fears that people said they felt when they were faced with sharing their faith. To get a copy of this episode, or to find out more about our ministry and how to start your own Prayer Stop outreach, please visit our website at prayerstop.org.